you know? <laughs> it's really common for me to hurt at my mom, but like in a good way. Like when I spent here the, the winter here, I was like, oh my god, I didn't expect this to be so cold. Hello everyone, my name is Lucia and I am from Argentina. Glad to meet you all. I've been here for like a year and a half. I came to Korea because I wanted to learn the language. So I came and studied in Sukang University. I studied there for one year. It was harder than what I expected, so my Korean level is not good yet. I always remember these San no mo san. I love that one because it's true. <laughs> yeah. Here in Korea, kids and high school and even university students go to Hagwon. In Argentina, that's not normal at all. Like, you will only go to Hagwon's if you're like really bad at something and you need to improve that. But otherwise, you don't go. <laughs> when I came to Korea, I was really shocked at how much alcohol <laughs> Koreans drink. It's like in, in every reunion, any kind, like company or high school or university reunion, any reunion, it's like there's alcohol involved in it. In Argentina, it's like, yes, we do like alcohol, we do drink alcohol, but it's not as present as here in Korea. That was something really shocking. It has its good things and bad things, let's say. There's something similar about Argentina culture and Korean culture, it's like we like to share. So like maybe there's a huge glass with some drink and like we share with everyone. That's something similar about Korea, so I felt a little bit at home in those kind of situations, yeah. I love the delivery system in Korea. Like, I, for me, it was so amazing that you can order something in, like, and they can deliver it to Hangang, you know? <laughs> That's really cool. And like, you can call at 3 a.m. and they'll go. That's amazing. Like, we don't have that at all in Argentina, yeah. And they are quite fast. That's cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. That were pretty shocking things about Korea, yeah, yeah. In Argentina, we don't really use formal speech to anyone <laughs> just like in really really formal situations like when you're in a company and you have to talk with someone like it's really high other than that we really don't use formal speech even if it's someone you just met it's you're just, just talking like it's your friend you know that's really different and it's a little hard for me to get used to the korean culture where you have to respect even if it's just one year older than you and you have to pay that respect for me it's a little a little weird for example like we say hi with kisses and we like to hug people and like here in korea it's more like give me my space you know so that is something that i'm still trying to like get used to it's really common for me to hurt at my mom but like in a good way like we say it like in like kind of like a friendly and like our relationship is close so i can do it but here is like i've never seen someone curse at their parents like, it's like no you'll die <laughs> if you do that yeah that's really something really different and like when i told my husband he's korean and i told him like oh no this is really common and you don't have to treat my mom like formal or anything he was like really <laughs> i have to treat your mom like she's my friend I was like, yeah <laughs> I was like, mm, okay <laughs> that's really really different yeah Argentina is huge, it's a huge country, so the weather really depends where you are. For example, in my city, summer is really hot, it's really similar to Seoul. Even a little hotter, I would say, and really humid too, but winter is not that cold. Maybe it can get to zero, but here it can get minus 20. So when I spent here the, the winter here, I was like, oh my god, I didn't expect this to be so cold. Summer was, like I said, it's similar, so I didn't feel that much difference. But when winter came, I love winter in my city because it's not that cold. But I was like, I was expecting, ah, oh, yeah, winter, my first Christmas with snow, blah, blah, blah. and I was like, oh yeah, this must be really fun. And then when the minus 20 came, I was like, I'm dying. I cannot even go outside because everything hurts. Like my skin is like dry, and yeah, I was not prepared for that. Everyone told me like, prepare for Korean winter. It's pretty heavy, and I was like, it's, it's okay. I like winter. And then when winter came, I was like. Mm, I don't know if I like this that much. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that here in Korea, for example, women don't show much up here, right? Uh, in Argentina, it's completely the opposite. Like everyone likes to show everywhere, not just here, here too. Like, yeah, like women tend to be more 
free. I don't know, you just, if you want to show it, show it. And like men, Argentina men, like they dress however they want. Like, like there's no pattern. I feel Korean men dress quite well in general. Argentina men is like, mm, some of them do, some of them, yeah, it's, there's no pattern. But yeah, usually like women like in Argentina, even in winter, they will be showing. <laughs> In Argentina right now, uh, people is very involved in politics. Young people is very involved in politics, uh, which I think is good. But the problem with Argentina is we don't have very good politicians since 12 years, 20 years ago. I think people felt the need to get involved because otherwise the country will go down. <laughs> Our politicians were not honest, not good at all. When I speak with my husband, I don't feel he's that involved in politics like uh, I am or like my friends in Argentina are. It's like, it's not a common topic for friends to talk about here, but in Argentina it's like, uh, it's like pretty common that that topic will come out somehow <laughs> but I think that when Korean people feel that there's something wrong they do something about it so that's something really cool that's something that I think it's even though in Argentina people like to talk more about it I feel that both act on it so that's that's cool mm. today uh, we talked about cultural differences and the things that shocked me about Korea so if you found this interesting and fun please comment subscribe and like this video and yeah see you next time <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!